of all matter and energy in the universe to tend towards a state of inert uniformity. For example, the fifth season of The Nanny, or the current crumbling American democracy. Just like the title of that book I never read in that comp lit class I never went to, things fall apart, and the result is chaos. Mm, chaos is a good word. Makes me think of black flames and evil ravens and other things goths would like. It's also in the name of a PSP strategy game. Here's our review of Generation of Chaos. Generation of Chaos chronicles the brutal war between rival factions of Precious Moments figurines as they struggle for dominance over an eBay addict's shelf. We just made that up, but it's far more interesting than the actual you, story. You bastards. Do you really understand what you are doing? Just what trying to stay awake, dude. Everybody. Buckle your seatbelts, folks, because this game sucks. Oh, why? Full of spirit! Adding to the PSP's already impressive library of subpar strategy titles, Generation of Chaos offers what should be a neat little twist. Battles are epic 30 on 30 affairs, complete with rudimentary tactical commands and magic attacks. Feel the wrath of Holy Fangs as soon as it loads. Hang on. There we go. Unfortunately, the combat is almost laughably simple, like paper, rock, scissors simple. If you have the right kind of units, you win. If you don't, you lose. So why pretend that I have any kind of strategic options to begin with? You bastard! The rest of the time, you maneuver your Cupid doll combatants around on a board-like world map, attempting to get the right units in the right places and buying weapons from a girl dressed as a rabbit. There's more depth to this part of the game, which makes the actual fighting seem more like an interruption than anything else. For fun, see how many soldiers you can cram into a sentry tower. Generation of Chaos has an obtuse interface full of small fonts and unexplained acronyms. There's no tutorial, and at first it's unclear how to even move around or figure out your objectives. In the meantime, these two medieval nerds are using a military diversion to buy themselves time to play D&D. While the army is keeping the others busy, we will research the Dragon King. Generation of Chaos gets points for originality, but the half-baked combat really drags it down. The game moves at the pace of a snail and isn't nearly as juicy. Jeez, you're creepy as always. Maybe, but at least I'm not a two out of five. You bastard! Yeah, it's a lame handheld strategy game. There is nothing more to say. Let's just sit here until the commercial comes on. No, no, no. Our job is to perform time-wasting banter to stretch the show out to 30 minutes with compelling insights and pop culture references that are sassy. Okay, well, chaos was the name of the bad guys on Get Smart. Very good. And chaos is almost spelled the same as the last name of Star Trek The Next Generation star, Rosalind Chow. That is almost an epic level of stretching there. Thanks.